Is olive oil healthy? <laughs> Hello, big dreamers. My name is Katie Rhines. I'm a registered dietitian with a master's in human nutrition, working for Dr. Joel Furman at his health oasis in Boca Raton, Florida. Is olive oil healthy? I get this question a lot. And first of all, when you ask me if something's healthy, I always say, what are you comparing it to? If you're comparing it to bacon fat, yes, 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 olive oil is healthy. If you're comparing it to an olive, no, no, not healthy. Oil is 120 calories per tablespoon. It's 100% fat, there's no fiber, it's really low in nutrients. And oils in general are going to be absorbed way too quickly. Our bodies are like, what is going on? And it's going to cause insulin resistance and lead to a slew of other issues that we don't need to deal with if we just ate the whole food. Walnuts versus walnut oil. Walnuts, healthy. Walnut oil, not healthy. However, if you are an extreme Olympic, Olympian athlete and you are trying to just go for the gold and you are struggling to keep weight on your bones and you're doing all these marathons and things, oil is not going to kill you. Maybe I might recommend you some oil. If you're super, super frail and you can't hold your weight, maybe a little bit of oil isn't going to kill you. If you're overweight and you have diabetes and heart disease, please don't eat oil. Do not eat the oil. Okay, I hope that's making sense. Animal fats are the absolute worst though, okay? Animal fats are always gonna be worse than oil. So that means your cheeses, your milk fat, um, of course, you know, dairy, eggs, meat. None of those foods, please. Those are very, very unhealthy. I wanna make it very clear that animal foods, they're going to promote cancer, they're gonna promote heart disease, they're gonna promote, they're gonna cause your blood vessels to harden. You're gonna, they're going to cause your blood vessels to become clogged and of course they lead to inflammation they're very lacking in any kind of antioxidants or phytochemicals and phytonutrients that you'll find in plant foods so highly recommend eating plants and with this plant foods plant fats are essential we don't get the essential fatty acids from animal products well, fish is going to be an exception here, but fish is also contaminated with lots of heavy metals and it's been linked to cancers and it's just really, it's not the best way to get in your... Here we go. Did you know omega-3 fatty acids present in walnuts, hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds? I recommend to grind your own flax seeds if you want to absorb it because um, you'll just see the flax seeds in the toilet if you don't grind them. And when you buy them ground and you increase the surface area, it increases their ability to become rancid. So I like to keep my omega-3 fatty acid foods in the fridge. And that's why you'll see flax oil and hemp oil in the refrigerated, in the refrigerated section in the grocery store because they need to be kept cold. And with that, we don't want to be heating any kind of polyunsaturated omega-3, omega-6 fats. Because as we heat our oils and we, as we heat these nuts and um, especially the omega-3s, they'll become rancid, they'll become free radical forming and cause oxidative stress which leads to oxidation and inflammation in the body. So we really don't want to be cooking with omega-3 fats. However, it's okay, like omega-6 fats are a little bit more stable, like avocado, but anyways, Avocado way better than avocado oil. We're not cooking in any oil. We're using parchment paper to bake. We are sauteing in, in water and maybe in a little bit of vinegar or something. We're not sauteing in oil. Um, replace the oil in your recipes with applesauce. No oil. <laughs> I don't recommend oil. I like, here I have my Dr. Joel Furman. Um, so it's, a lot of people say that you'll get enough omega-3s from a tablespoon or two of ground flax seeds. And yes, some people this works, but did, there's variability from person to person. So, okay, so this is DHA and EPA. This may be confusing. Um, DHA and EPA is what omega-3s form. So omega-3 is the precursor to the most abundant fatty acid in our brain, DHA. So you need the omega-3s to convert to DHA. Does that make sense? That's why omega-3s and omega-6s are essential fatty acids because our bodies can't make them without taking them in. Um, if I think that I'm going to recommend in general that people take 
a plant-based algal oil DHA EPA supplement. So where do fish get their omega-3s, get their DHA, excuse me, they get it from the algae. So why don't we skip the fish and just get it straight from the source and get, take an algal, a pure algal oil supplement. Dr. Furman has a really good one on his website. This is one that I take. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend on top of that, at least once a day, get a tablespoon of either chia, flax, or hemp. Walnuts are great too. And um, I recommend this supplement just because there's so much variability from person to person, how much you're able to convert the omega-3s to the DHA EPA. So, um, you know, this is really essential to prevent al Alzheimer's, to improve cognitive function and focus, and overall inflammation, like, it's a really powerful anti-inflammatory heart health nerve function, you name it. So um, yeah, I would recommend a DHA, EPA, algae oil supplement, yep. And um, no, I don't think olive oil is healthy. What else did I wanna say about that? Yeah, lots of studies, oh, okay. Hello, high carb people who are super anti-fat. The fat you eat is not necessarily the fat you wear. Please go watch right now, you have to, you're, please. Watch, I'll link it down below, nutritionfacts.org, nuts, the weight of the evidence, I think it's called. And he goes over all of these studies showing that people who literally were forced to eat 400 calories of nuts a day actually maintain their weight. Like you would think that they would gain weight, but they didn't. And it's like, what is going on here? And actually, when you're eating more nuts, you're increasing your stool fat. So your body's able to excrete as well. And it's just, it's combined with fiber and your body is really, really good at regulating what weight you're supposed to be at when you're eating whole foods. Um, with that said though, I still don't recommend eating your nuts just like, and this is for people who are trying to, in general, you're not athletes here. This is just my general recommendation. Please message me because it's hard to make a specific recommendation for people on YouTube. I don't know if you're like an avid cyclist or what, but in general, I recommend to just eat your source of fat combined with your salad. So have, a, have it with greens because there's a lot of fat soluble vitamins in greens like vitamin K. The four fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, E, D, and K. So vitamin D is actually technically a hormone which you also need fat to produce that. And it's from the sun and we need a little bit of fat in our diet to get that. And then vitamin E, K, and A, you'll find that in greens and orange vegetables. And you're not gonna be able to absorb it as well unless you combine it with a source of fat. So I like to make nut seed dressings or sauces or just put um, you know, walnuts or something on your salad instead of just eating it by the handful. And with that said, I don't necessarily recommend snacking at all. Because um, if you're getting three balanced meals a day of high nutrient foods, you shouldn't be getting shaky and feeling like you need to eat all the time. You'll feel a really nice, um, sustained, not, you, your food isn't stimulating so, so much that you crash and you just get this, um, so, uh, you get this uncomfortable feeling when you haven't eaten for a couple of hours, not with this diet because it's a slow release in energy from all the complex carbs, from beans and greens, and you'll just feel really amazing and energized and fabulous all the time, and you'll feel really calm and happy, and it's really beautiful. So, <laughs> that was like a mouthful. I feel like I need to take a deep breath here, but um, is olive oil healthy? Not really, no. Um, I would rather see you eat an olive than olive oil. I'd rather see you eat almonds than almond oil. And I don't recommend any oils. Oh, and peanut butter. Okay, don't make sure the only ingredient on your peanut butter is peanuts. Hydrogenated oils are the worst. That's the same as a trans fat. So hydrogenated oils, that means that they took an unsaturated fat and they saturated it with hydrogens on the carbon chain to make it look like a saturated fat. And then when it looks like a saturated fat, AKA a trans fat, this is trans fat. Hydrogenated oils, I don't care if it's partially hydrogenated or fully hydrogenated, they're all basically look in your body like a saturated fat. It's what makes the peanut butter 
a hard, uniform texture so that it's able to keep longer on the shelf and so that you don't have to stir it. It makes it like a saturated fat and it acts that way in your body too. So don't be buying these almond oil or these almond butters or peanut butters that have any hydrogenated oils in them and for that matter they shouldn't be having any um, can't, like any kind of sweeteners or any salts in there either so yeah just and also if you eat the nut versus nut butter the nut has been shown to feed your good gut bacteria and lead to healthy gut bacteria and healthy immune function you know our gut brain barrier is incredible so eating the nut keeps the fiber to feed your gut bacteria whereas in the study comparing with nut butter the nut butter did nothing for our gut bacteria why because nut butter doesn't have as much fiber like the fiber gets broken down too much and by the time we eat it and it goes into our intestines there's not enough fiber for our gut bacteria to feed off of so if you're going to buy you know that basically moral of the story the least processed the better we don't want to so the hierarchy whole food is best then crunchy nut butter then smooth nut butter without hydrogenated oils literally one ingredient only the nut and then very dead last which we don't want to be eating is the oil because it's the most processed Okay, so eat your whole foods. Oh, and above that would be soaked and sprouted. You want to soak and sprout your nuts and seeds. That would be the ideal. And then eating them raw. And then, okay, you get that? Because when they're alive, once we germinate these seeds and nuts, then their enzyme inhibitors actually release and you're able to absorb the nutrients better and they're more well digested. Oh, this is such a mouthful. I need to do another video on this topic. I hope that helps somebody out there and I'm sorry I I wanted to record at least like I really want to record a video for you every single day but I, I've only been here for two weeks and my job's picking up and there's just a lot going on right now. Oh, I hope you understand but I love answering your questions and please keep commenting, keep leaving questions down below, give this video a thumbs up and um, best of luck with everything. Keep eating all of those amazing plant foods. Get moving, get grooving. You are a superhero. I'm so proud of you for watching this and for taking control of your health and your destiny. It's just really inspiring to me um, what everyone's doing out there. So keep up the good work. So much love and yay, bye.